Hey guys, Dr. Charles Parker here, and you, you're you going to have to forgive me on this one right here because it's going to sound like it falls into the category of an uncanny grasp of the obvious. Okay, we're going to talk about medication sensitivity. And this is going to be, I always say it's a small one, but this is going to be a tiny, tiny brief one. Think about medication sensitivity referential to you, ADHD medications, and medication, psychiatric medications in general. This is where uh, new ADHD medication rules, my new book, can really apply on a broader level to anybody taking psychiatric medications. The deal is really pretty doggone simple, is that if you have some medication sensitivity, what does that mean? Let me think about this. I told you it's an uncanny grasp of the obvious. If a person has medication sensitivity, by nature, they are not metabolizing the medication correctly, efficiently. It's not working the way it would be expected to work. So if it's not working the way it should work, what's causing that problem? Is it an act of will? Is it marital discord? No. It's your body's metabolism is unique to you. It could be the cytochrome P450 system, which we've talked about in another video, in which I'm going to go into in, in considerable detail in yet another video down the road where we actually measure different genetic challenges that could cause the medications to not work. Well, that's coming up. But for right now, I just want to punctuate and have you think about medication sensitivity. It sounds like it's really obvious. It sounds like it's totally common sense. And what I'm about to tell you is totally common sense, that if you can't metabolize it, there must be some reason that you can't metabolize it. If there's some problem with taking the medication, it's probably biologically based. It's not psychologically based. It's not an attitude. It's not a kid with an attitude. So many kids get blamed. You've got an attitude. You're not taking the medication. Mom, I can't take it. It makes me sick. You don't want to take it. No, it makes me sick. And what happens is these medications are unpredictable. It's one of the reasons the public has some problems with psychiatry in general, medications in general, because these problems do occur. But they're completely preventable if you investigate and take a little further down the road to see what's causing the problem. And since 80% of the problems, 80% of the problems, not all of them, but a very high percentage, are caused by IgG variables, by food allergies and just plain old reactions of the gut to what's coming in the gut. Now, there are a lot of other consequential matters that can contribute to it, but the bottom line is the gut's a big, a big problem. Medication sensitivity is gut-related very frequently. It could be liver-related, yes, but it's very frequently gut-related. I would encourage you to get the testing from your doctor, IgG, find out what's going on with food, change your diet. It happens oftentimes that that's going to correct it. And if it doesn't correct it, at least it's going to help it so that you can take the medications efficiently and without so much problem. Give it some thought. Hope it works for you. Talk to you later. See you.